Hello guys, Brave Shadow here, and today it's another episode of the Shadow Source, your only source for gaming. And today we are going to be talking about the PlayStation 4 yet again. Uh, at BlizzCon, you'll be able to play Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls on the PlayStation 4. So this will be really interesting. Uh, Diablo is an RPG very good RPG. If you haven't played it, I highly suggest you go out and play it. Uh, Reaper of Souls is uh, an addition onto Diablo. So go and uh, check that out if you have the ability to go to BlizzCon. Now, news has been treacling like crazy regarding the Xbox One, but beyond, you know, the startup screen and how it looks and how the friends list goes, one thing that I care about is the games and one game in particular is Rise Son of Rome even though that they had to downgrade the graphics and actually have to manipulate and change the Xbox one console itself in order to actually handle rise rise still looks amazing and just from this new uh, Marius trailer oh my god it makes me envious and actually kind of want an Xbox one um, but it's still not enough to actually make me go out and buy one for $500 and then another $60 for the game. But it's definitely a good looking game and for those Xbox players they will more than likely enjoy it. It looks like it has a deep meaningful storyline and just the graphics. You know me, I'm a graphics guy and I gotta say those graphics look amazing. So after uh, the stream of the PlayStation 4 UI from yesterday, people were claiming that the PlayStation 4 actually overheated and had some problems. Um, during a point in the video, you see one of the two guys who are there. Uh, one of them actually tries to check to see if the PlayStation 4 is actually heating up or not because the game bugs out for a moment. But uh, if you use your common sense, as most people tend to do, the game is the thing that has the problem. You can tell because the console is still functional. Um, he simply exits out and re-enters the game. There's no restarting of the console because if the console were to overheat, then you would have to turn off the console altogether. Uh, a lot of these rumors lately, just really trying to discredit the PlayStation 4 have been going around. Um, one of the things, the red line of death, which uh, Shuhei Yoshida quickly uh, rebuttaled and said that there is no such thing. So take this rumor as a grain of salt. It's really on perspective, but I mean, if you look at it from that way, hmm, he's checking the console, it's hot, is it hot? You don't know exactly what he's doing, but if it were to be the console failing, they would have had to shut down the console all the way and then restart it as you would do if your Xbox One uh, heated up or your PlayStation 3 would heat up or even your computer. If it overheated, you know, you'd more than likely have to restart it, let it cool off and then continue but there is no actual turning off of the PlayStation 4 just simply stopping the game exiting out of it and re-entering it so it is a bug with the game regardless needless to say the game needs its bugs fixed before the release because this can look bad so well that's all for the news today uh, always check back on my channel the shadow source for all your news and gameplay and reviews so as always, no game on. Can stop death.